pretty awesome, right? You can screen mirror your iPhone, any iPhone, to your smart TV completely free and literally with one click. I mean, it's so smooth, you can actually play games if you want to, watch Insta if you want to. I mean, you have tons of, you, t you have tons of options. You can listen to music, you can even use your camera if you want to. So let me just show you, let me just zoom in, take a photo, and uh, there you go. You can actually, it's it's so, so cool. You can actually do a lot with this. You can study, you can, uh, you can do a lecture or something. You can do a lot with this, basically. By the way, let me know in the comment section below why you want to do this, okay? So yeah, let's just let's just dive right into it. Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Riz and welcome to my channel. In this quick and awesome video, I'm gonna teach you how you can screen mirror your iPhone or screen share your iPhone to your smart TV. Now, it doesn't matter what iPhone you have, it will work with literally any iPhone you have. Whether it's old or new, it doesn't matter. And the best part is that it's completely free and you don't have to download anything on your iPhone because everything is built into it. So it's actually that simple. And as I showed you before, there is no lag. It's so, so smooth, I mean. It's pretty smooth. So without wasting any more time, let's just dive right into it. Oh, by the way, almost forgot. If you find this video helpful, leave a like and be sure to subscribe, okay? Now let's dive in. All right, so as I said before, you don't have to download any third-party apps on your iPhone and it will work with literally any iPhone you have. Again, if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. All right, so in fact, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be using to do this. So once you go into the control center, you have the option for the screen mirroring right there. That's what, gonna, that's what we're gonna be using. It's completely free, it's built into your iPhone, I mean any iPhone, and it's just, it works, it works like charm. It's really that simple. So, so the first thing you wanna do on your iPhone is to basically go to your settings page. Now, head over to your settings page, and inside the settings you have two options. You can either use your home Wi-Fi, which I'm doing right now, as you can see my iPhone is connected to my home Wi-Fi, or you could go back to the settings and use your mobile data and turn on the personal hotspot. Now you have two options, as I said before, just be careful with the mobile data, depending on where you live, it might not be free, okay? So just be careful with the mobile data, it might not be free, it might cost you credit. So I will recommend you use your home Wi-Fi. As you can see for the sake of this video, I'm gonna show you both, but in this case, I'm gonna connect my iPhone to my home Wi-Fi. And that is pretty much everything you need to do on your iPhone. Now, what we need to do is basically do the exact same thing on the smart TV. So let's do that. All right, so now what you wanna do on your smart TV is to basically first thing you wanna do is to make sure your TV and your iPhone are on the same network, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is head over to your settings and now inside the settings, go to your network settings. Now, once you, if you have never done this before, set up a new connection, or if you have done this before, you can just click on connection and it will automatically connect your smart TV to the available network. In this case, as you can see, it's just checking for the connection and it will automatically connect my smart TV to my home Wi-Fi. It's actually that simple. Now, if you have never done this before, let me just show you how you can quickly connect your TV to your home Wi-Fi. As you can see, mine is connected on your screen. Now, if you have never done this before or you, you wanna use your uh, mobile hotspot, or the hotspot coming from another smartphone or whatever you have, just click on setup connection and it will automatically scan for all the available networks that you have. In this case, it should pop up, it should show you your, um, your hotspot as well. Right now, my hotspot is not running from my iPhone, so it won't exact, it won't, it won't, so it won't show me. All right, so as you can see, that is my home connection and my TV is actually connected to my home network as you just saw. So in this case, just set up connection if you have never done this before or if you have done this before, click on check connection and that way your TV will automatically connect to your home Wi-Fi and that's pretty much it. All right, so at this point you have two options. You can leave it at the home or you could actually go to your settings. Now inside the settings, find a setting called App Apple AirPlay as you can see at the bottom right there, right there. Just click on it and if you have never done this before, it might ask you for a key or a setup new connection or something like that, but I have done this before, so it won't ask me uh, again. So if, if you're doing this for the first time, it might show you a code, simple four digit code, just copy that and paste it into your phone. All right, so once you have set up the AirPlay on your TV, that's pretty much simple from now on. Let me just show you how it works. All right, so from, no All right, so from this point, it's very, very simple as you can see. All you have to do is to head over to your settings, 
I mean, head over to your control center and click on that screen mirroring option and it will automatically show you the Roku Express 4K. And that actually is my smart TV in the background. You can actually change the name if you want to, but that just, <laughs> okay. Now what you wanna do is just click on it and it will automatically connect or you can actually do this from the home as well. So let me just show you how you can do that quickly. All right, so once your TV is connected to your home Wi-Fi and your iPhone are on the same network, just click on home and you can actually do this from this screen as well. So let me just show you quickly how you can do that. Let me, so again, go to your control, again, go to your control center into the screen mirroring option and there you go. It's again, it's showing you your TV, your smart TV. So just click on it. Just wait a couple of seconds and that's pretty much it. It's actually that quick. And you can see there is no lag at all. It's so smooth. I mean, like really, really smooth. You can actually play games if you want to. You can listen to music if you want to. You can uh, you can watch YouTube videos if you want to. By the way, uh, you can actually use uh, Insta to watch videos as well. By the way, if you haven't followed me on Insta, be sure to do that because I got tons of great content. I mean, let me just show you quickly. There you go. It's pretty, the audio will be coming from the TV as well, as you can see, I just had to mute it. So let me just, um, let me just mute it. The audio is coming from your TV. It's actually that simple. Really cool, really awesome. You can play games if you want to. Let me just show you how you can, uh, let me just fire up the Clash of Clans and you can actually, you can actually play. And the audio is coming from the TV as well. It's just so cool. So, um, it's pretty simple. Let me um let me just zoom in and show you. Pretty pretty awesome, as you can see. Um, there's no lag at all, basically. So, just so cool. I mean, that's pretty much it. And by the way, if you want to cancel, the two ways. If you're using the 14 or four, if you're using the 14 Pro series, you can actually click on the dynamic island, and it will show you that your TV is being a screen mirrored to something. You can actually just click on stop and it will automatically stop. Or if you don't have the dynamic island, you can go into your control center, head over to your screen mirroring tab and just click on disconnect or stop mirroring at the bottom of the, at the bottom of your screen. It's actually that simple. So that's pretty much it for the video. If you have, if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. I will definitely, definitely get back to you. All right, so that's it for the video. I hope this video is helpful to you. And if it is helpful, be sure to subscribe, be sure to leave a like. And if you have any questions, and as I said before, comment down below, I will definitely, definitely get back to you. That's it, peace out.